Good okay. morning, this is Josh Barnett. I am the author of the Yes I Can Principles and founder of Students of Success. Today we're going to be talking about the three strategies of top performers. Have you ever wanted to increase your performance and, and increase your results and maybe increase your income if you're in a, uh, in a commission based job? Well, today we're going to talk about three specific things that top performers do and how we can implement them in our own lives. The one thing that uh, we found, number one, is all top performers do is they have the ability to prioritize. Prioritize, not spell, but prioritize, okay? That's a T. Okay, so prioritize. So uh, people that are unsuccessful, they, they show up and they're very reactive. They're at the office, or the job, whatever it is they're doing. Even when they go home, if you're a stay-at-home mom, whatever, it's very reactionary. And then you, by the end of the day, you're like, what happened? Gosh, I just, I just don't know what happened. I'm so frustrated. I'm stressed out. And, I mean, it's because you didn't prioritize. One thing that we've done in our office is we have a three-step rule, okay? A, B, C. Easy as A, B, C. One, two, three. You don't let me give you a... You don't remember the song? Okay. All right, so it's A, B, C. So it's very, very simple. Everyone on my team, we all have a spreadsheet, and it all has a list of A's with a whole bunch of lines, and then B with a whole bunch of lines, and then C with a whole bunch of lines. And then this is how, in our office, this is how we prioritize our day. A stands for ASAP. So anything that truly is urgent, the most important thing, you have an upset customer, you have a big client you want to chase, or if you're a stay-at-home mom, critical things that have to be done ASAP, okay? And then you write down those lists, and if you need to put prioritize which of the ASAPs is most important, but A stands for ASAP. B is before lunch, okay? So these are important things we have to do before lunchtime, okay? It, 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 it could be, a, I've got to call it, Gentlemen, I've got to call back on that quote or call that client or make that phone call or set that appointment. It's important, but it's not urgent. It just has to be done before lunch. And then C is for close. By the close of the day, okay? By the time that you uh, turn off the lights, lock the door, and head home, by the time you finish, end up uh, closing, if you're out making prospects or if you're out uh, um, closing deals or whatever it is, by the close of the day, those are things that need to be done, that they don't have to be done first thing in the morning, they don't have to be done before lunch, they just have to be done by the close of the day. So these are how you prioritize, okay? You gotta prioritize your day by doing the ABCs, okay? Everybody excited? What is number one? Prioritize. How are we gonna do it? We're gonna do it by ABC. ASAP, before lunch, close. Ding! Okay, so number two stands for focus. Okay? Top performers all have a unique ability to be able to focus. Okay? Uh, people that maybe stress out and, and are not able to achieve their peak performance, they're not very focused. It seems like uh, if somebody else in the office is having a conversation, they, they want to go over there like, oh, what are you guys talking about? Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Then somebody else has a conversation, you go over there and you like want to help and assist them and you want to help out with whatever their job is doing and somebody else over here talking, you go over and you talk with them and like, oh yeah, yeah, this is what I need and I did. And before you know it, what happens? It's lunchtime and you haven't got, even though you took time to prioritize your day with the ABCs, you didn't focus by sitting at your desk, if you have a desk, or going out and making phone calls to prospect clients, or to go out and knock doors if you have an ability to sell things door to door, or whatever it is you do, you've got to focus. Okay? You've got to be able to focus like a laser-like focus, like, like laser beams. You know, can you imagine a laser beam that's like beaming all over the place? It wouldn't be able to be a very efficient laser, right? So you've got to be able to have laser-like focus and focus on whatever your task is and don't get distracted. Do you know how long adults typically can keep this amazing laser-like focus without getting distracted? The max is about 60 minutes, one hour. So it's okay. Have a goal to lock yourself in a room or just put yourself in the zone where just one hour, no phone calls, no emails, nobody, no, no talking, no go to the bathroom, just focus and get, and get your job done and see how much you can get done during that hour. And just insane focus, okay? Number three is insane work ethic. Okay, uh, I've shared this on my Facebook page before too. Hard work beats talent. 
and that's true. I've seen it time and time again. I've seen people that are more talented that didn't prioritize and they weren't very focused and they have really bad work ethic and their numbers or results or income was substantially less than somebody else who had insane work ethic. As I've mentioned before too, I'm a door-to-door -door, uh, summer sales company and they have door-to-door -door salesmen. They go out and they knock on doors. And the crazy thing is, is we have our meetings on a daily basis. And right after our meetings, guess when the top performers leave to go out and start knocking doors? Immediately after the meeting. We usually meet up around 3 o'clock to have a luncheon and uh, to see how we're doing throughout the day. So we have like from noon until 3 to go out and knock doors. And top performers, guess when they show up? Are they the first ones there to lunch? No. They're usually the last ones there. Sometimes they don't even come at all because they have an insane work ethic. They may even skip over lunch to be able to achieve their goals and their objectives and have that higher income that they want to achieve. And the most amazing thing that I noticed is that at night, when everybody would come home at night and they hand in their contracts, the top performers, guess which order that they showed up at the apartment to hand in their contracts and review their day? You want to take a guess? They weren't the first ones home, were they? They were always the last ones in. Why? Why is that? The top performers have an insane work ethic. That's the thought for the day. Hope you guys enjoy it. If you guys want to be top performers, these are the three strategies of top performers. Number one, they prioritize their day. A, B, C is A, get stuff done ASAP and make sure that's done. And then identify the things that are Bs before lunch and then Cs by the close of the day. And I'll let you guys figure that out for your own self. The second is focus. Focus and get in your zone to where you're just paying attention and you're doing whatever the task is at hand and don't get distracted and do it for at least one hour and take a quick break and be a human being and go drink, drink water maybe talk for two minutes to somebody else and then guess what repeat that hour again of focus and getting stuff done and number three insane work ethic okay what's the the saying they say there's no traffic when you go the second mile the extra mile so go the extra mile and you will be able to be recognized as a top performer thank you i love you guys have a great day remember to tell yourself yes i can